Hey, Psych2Goers. We all know nobody's perfect, right? We all have secrets and dark sides to ourselves we'd rather keep hidden. We've all done things we aren't proud of, and we all have our own inner battles to fight. But if you've ever had to fight the same battle over and over again, or if you've been carrying a burden you just don't know how to shake, then it's probably because you have some inner demons you still need to confront. Overcoming our personal demons takes a lot of courage, awareness, and inner strength. You can start by first figuring out what your inner demon is. Answer the statements below. Remember your choices and count the number of times you answer A, B, C, D, and E. Let's begin. Number one, what personal flaw has held you back the most? A, my constant sense of fear, which keeps me from enjoying life to the fullest. B, my hyperfixation on the past, which keeps me from being present in the moment. C, my lack of confidence in myself and my abilities, which has made me miss out on a lot of great opportunities. D, my temper and the grudges I hold, which have ruined a lot of my relationships. Or E, my perfectionism and need to overachieve, which keeps me from being happy and content. Number two, I find it more difficult to move on when A, thoughts about my past trauma resurface. B, I've done something wrong or made a mistake. C, I don't get closure after something has ended. D, someone I trusted hurts me, even unintentionally. Or E, someone talks bad about me behind my back. Number three, when I'm in a group project, I'm usually A, the one most eager to strategize and plan, accounting for anything that could go wrong. B, the one who just waits to be told what to do, too afraid to volunteer because they might do it wrong. C, the one who asks my team members for feedback and clarification to make sure I'm doing things right. D, the one who does everything on my own because I don't trust my team members. Or E, the one who takes the lead or is the first to give their opinion on something. Number four, when I'm in charge, I struggle to A, be flexible and think on my feet because I feel a lot better when I've planned and prepared for everything. B, assert myself and take command because I don't want people to think I'm too bossy or question my abilities. C, trust my own choices because I don't wanna make mistakes. D, trust others because I feel frustrated when other people make mistakes. Or E, be okay with opinions that contradict mine because I don't like to feel like I'm wrong. Number five, what are you most afraid of? A, that something will go wrong and I can't control or fix it. B, that I will end up with a lot of regrets in my life. C, that even when I put myself out there and try my best, I'll still fail and just end up humiliated. D, being hurt by the people I care about the most, finding out they never felt the same way. Or E, that I will never amount to anything and lose everyone's respect and admiration. Number six, the most likely reason why someone might get mad at me is because A, I dampen their moods by worrying too much and being too stressed out. B, I mistakenly think they're mad at me and read too much into everything they say and do. C, I put myself down a lot and say no to a lot of things because I'm too afraid. D, I can't just let things go and move on because I'd rather hold a grudge. Or E, I feel that I'm always putting myself first and only looking out for my own self-interest. Number seven, what is most important to you? A, having a strong sense of safety, stability, and control over my life. B, pleasing everyone and meeting all of their expectations. C, succeeding at everything I set my mind to and achieving all my goals. D, being treated with trust, sensitivity, and respect. Or E, being recognized for my value and earning the respect and admiration of others. Number eight, what is your best quality? A, I'm a deep thinker who's prepared for anything. B, I'm very agreeable and always willing to put others first. C, I'm humble, hardworking, and fiercely independent. D, I'm passionate and strong-willed. Or E, I'm ambitious, determined, and never afraid to speak my mind. And number nine, I feel that my life would be much better if I, A, could stop worrying about everything and just enjoy life to the fullest. B, 
could stop living in the past and second guessing everything I do. See, if I had more confidence to go after what I really want in life. D, if I could learn to trust and forgive people more easily. Or E, if I could handle failure better and stop being so hard on myself. Okay, I'll tally it up. Here is your inner demon, according to the letter that appears the most. If A appears the most, your inner demon is anxiety. Your inner demon is like a constant weight on your shoulders, dragging you down and making you worry about things that aren't in your control or even likely to happen. Restless and overwhelming, living with anxiety can feel a lot like having a cluttered mind. It becomes hard to focus, wind down, and stay grounded, especially with that demon whispering terrible things in your ear all the time. If you answered mostly bees, your inner demon is guilt. Having guilt as your inner demon can be crippling because it will trick you into constantly thinking that you've done something wrong. Every move you make will feel like the wrong one and you'll be stuck second guessing yourself all the time. People haunted by guilt are overly apologetic, neurotic, self-conscious, and easily embarrassed. They struggle to move on from past mistakes and are prone to beating themselves up over every little thing that goes wrong. If you answered mostly C's, your inner demon is self-doubt. Perhaps the easiest inner demon to fall victim to and certainly one we've all found ourselves grappling with at some point in our lives. Having a lot of self-doubt can be detrimental to every aspect of our lives, socially, personally, and especially academically and professionally. And the worst part is this kind of inner demon will often try to convince you that it's all for your own good, that you need to be harsh on yourself and overly critical in order to push you into being better. Don't listen to those lies. Treating yourself with more compassion and self-love can make you flourish far more than any harsh comment or criticism ever could. If D appears the most, your inner demon is anger. Anger is something we all feel from time to time, and that's not a bad thing. However, if anger becomes an inner demon, then it will cause a lot of damage in your life and in your relationships. Left unchecked and out of control, our anger has the power to blind us completely and turn us against even our closest family and friends. That's why it's so important that we learn to control our anger instead of letting it control us. And if you answered mostly ease, your inner demon is pride. Last, but certainly not least, is pride. People with this kind of inner demon are often perfectionists and overachievers, always pushing themselves to do more and be the very best that they can be. They may be overly competitive and sometimes envious of the success of others, but it's only because their inner demon is telling them that they always have to prove their worth to everyone. And although they might come across as a bit abrasive and self-important, deep down inside, all they really want is to be valued, not for what they've done or what they've achieved, but for who they are as a person. So, do you agree with your results? Did you learn something new about yourself after taking the test? Whichever result you got, it's important that you acknowledge the terrible toll our inner demons take on our lives when we listen to them and give in to their demands. Recognizing which inner demon you possess is an important first step to take in conquering it and living a better, happier, and more authentic life. Did this video provide some new insight? Share your results in the comments below. Until next time, Psych2Goers.